Hello and welcome everybody. Today I wanted to show you the 4 star Emberman. I know it's not going to be that interesting because I only have one team and it's an infinite turn bar team. But yeah, just to have covered the whole or the entire Emberman thing, I will just show you how I do it. But it's yeah not really something special I have to say because I'm using here a 3 Air Crusaders, 1 Earth Sea Lot and Kami. So it's yeah actually just an infinite turn bar team you could use like any other uh, cleaver or like damage dealer instead of kami you can also use the succubus the lilim so it's actually always the same like you have to go for the infinite turn bar and then you just have to like kill all the monsters with kami it's pretty easy because the damage output is pretty high so it doesn't take that much time it's just a lot of clicking going on again like in some other stages at the ember mine but the only thing i have to care about is about the fire golem because the fire golem is yeah um, reflects some damage and the problem is if you go with the third skill of kami which can happen sometimes because you only click the third skill of each monster all the time so there you have to go with the second skill and as you can see then you are not doing that much damage but you don't get in any trouble of killing yourself so then i'm going to do this and this is my monster that moves first all the time so i can heal here and do the second skill again then he dies so it's actually no problem to go through here you can also use the first skill the first skill is uh, doing a little bit more damage so in the higher stages i'm always using the first skill because then the golem has more HP and more defense, so you don't get that much of damage thrown back at you. So this is actually yeah a pretty quick run. I mean, if I like click super fast, I, I can do it in a one and a half minute, something like that. But I'm actually not like doing speed runs in the Emberman now because it's set to once a week. It's yeah. I'm doing this like on just just in between uh, wh when I have nothing to do I just sit down take the time like uh, click <laughs> click that stuff do one level and then it's okay for me and then uh, next day I'm doing the next level and so on so it's not that yeah not not that kind of a pressure or something to do it anymore like like on, on one day like 30 stages or something like that so it's like I'm doing like two or three stages a day and that's about it and yeah you don't have any pressure of finishing it anymore so yeah as you can see it runs pretty good the damage output on the boss is also pretty good even if they have a super high defense but in this case it's not that high because we have the elemental disadvantage and uh, uh, sorry sorry <laughs> this was a little bit too fast it's not that high because we have the elemental disadvantage in this case but as you can see it's 9600 per hit so you have to go a few times more for the infinite turn bar here but yeah it doesn't change a lot actually it just takes some more time to finish it so yeah that's about it actually um, I just wanted to show you that we have covered this whole thing here I mean I have a other team that is probably going to work. I mean, I always use it in the first um, in, in the first stage of the Emberman 4 star. I could actually try to let it run in the in the other stages here. What I know is that it's not working that good actually. I mean, this this is like they have a lot of effective HP, so they are not going to die that easy, and we have to double reset here. But yeah, it's also a team that not many of you can possibly build because not a, I don't know a lot of people that have two air shamans and yeah, also the mystics you have to have it because of the revive and yeah, I don't know how many people have this. So, but I will try to show you this one as well. I only know that it's working in stage one. But we will see probably it also works like in stage 4, I don't know actually. I mean normally it should work because yeah, the, the shield is stacking now and so 
they should not have a chance to break through the shield actually. I mean at the boss it's kind of hard because they are doing a lot of damage also the side monsters and yeah we will see how it works out. I mean now it took a long time because the Lilim was stunned and stuff so she couldn't move and the other ones are not doing anything <laughs> so yeah we're just we, we just have the damage of the second skill of the Lilim so it could take some time to get to the boss but I mean it doesn't really matter how much time it takes if you don't have to click because you can do something else in between as you can see here we are feared and yeah now we are still blinded and they are this, this could take some time till we get to the boss but I also wanted to show you this uh, I mean probably some of you have the monsters and if it's working it, it could be pretty nice to just let it run on auto so you don't have to click and could do something else in between but yeah we will see I mean I think it will take around probably five minutes or something five six minutes and I don't know which boss is on stage for so it also always depends on the boss what they can do if they can like um, strip you or like put some debuffs on you and, and stuff then it's also pretty hard for the mystic angels to survive so yeah we will see I will drink some coffee in between. So as you can see, he is dead, now he is revived and yeah, we, we will see what happens at the boss, but I actually think that we are going to die at the boss. Because we just have to double reset, but the problem is if one of the shamans die, then you have the big problem that he has to be revived then he has to do his reset and then the other one has to do his reset so they have all skills ready again and then if the next one dies that he can get revived instantly because if this is not going to happen then you have a big problem because um, if the one shaman that survives or is still alive has the buff not ready so the reset then you have a big problem. So we will see here. I will do nothing. So we will see what happens. We see the buffs are coming, but yeah, okay, this is not going to work. I guess because we have this. Poof. Yeah, there's a lot of damage going on. But actually, we are still alive, so probably it works. I don't know. It always it always depends on what what the monsters are doing. I mean, if they just if the air shamans just reset, reset, reset because they also cleanse, so then we don't have any problems with all this bleeding and stuff going on and with this life leech and stuff. So it should actually work, but yeah, who knows? <laughs> we will see in a second. Yeah, he's dead again and. This this is always a problem. So yeah, okay, he gets revived. Yeah, now they are these sharks are dead and all the other side monsters. So yeah, it's it probably works out. I mean now the Lily is dead again, but it's not a big of a deal because she's always getting revived. Because the as long as the shamans don't die, they can always reset the cooldowns and she's instantly getting revived. So this is not a big of a deal. But we will see how long it takes to kill him. I mean, I suggested like around about five to six minutes. We will see. It's actually not going that that bad. So it, it was not a close call, let's say. So it's actually working pretty fine. I didn't even know that because it's like um, the water Mystic Angel has a lot of effective HP, I guess around 270,000, something like that. But she is super slow, that's that's the only problem. She's super slow, like 90 speed or something. And the Air Mystic is speed tuned, I guess she's around 
166 something, 166, 170 something and has 220,000 effective HP. So she's going to die a little bit easier, but she's way faster. That's only because that she can put the shield up all the time. Because the shield stacks and as you can see, if you have the shield up, then you're not going to take any damage like with one hit because the shield stacks and then if you get a hard hit, then it's not that big of a deal. But you saw it, it also worked out, but yeah, I, th I think I... Yeah, I don't know if you can build it. I mean, if you have like two air shamans, you could go for it probably. Um, I will also try to do a team with my second air mystic, with my Rachel. So I can, I mean, I can show you the cliffs here. Actually, you see, it's only 94 speed, and yeah, I didn't even up the the cliffs to the maximum here. So we are we don't have that much effective HP that I told you before and yeah here we have the Rachel you can see it's over 2000 defense and 22000 HP and oh, okay she only has a 142 yeah I reclifed her at the last cliff event so that's about it actually um, the air shamans are not something special I have to say so they don't have a lot of life or stuff going on. So there we have the other angel. I have a lot of monsters that I have to upgrade. But yeah, I don't know if I can use them. Uh, I don't know. That That's the only reason. But I will go over this in another video where I will show you all the 2 stars, 3 stars and 4 stars that are really usable and how you could use them probably in your advantage to go through Tower of Trials or let's say all the dungeons like Rev 10, Rev 11 and stuff. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it helped you out a little bit and, and gave you probably some information about the monsters that you can probably use in the Emberman. But as I said at the start, it's not something special because I know that there are not that much teams actually that will work in 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 that ember man overall and as we all know it's like all about infinite turn bar like if you it doesn't matter if you go with the uh earth sea lords or with the air crusaders or let's say with with some combination of them or with a holy sister uh, combination then you can go with the water marler and stuff but it's all about the turn bar so yeah as you saw it could probably also work with some really high defense high hp monsters that you're not going to get killed but i guess it wouldn't work if you would not have the shield and you have the shield here on three monsters that's what you have to keep in mind we have three monsters that can do a shield buff so we have the two um air shamans and the air mystic they are all doing the shields and so you have a triple shield stack on them so it's a lot of shield actually and therefore it's clear that you're not going to die that easy but if you wouldn't have a shield i don't think it's doable but i will test it out probably i can find out some um, other monsters that you can use in emberman four star and yeah i hope it helped you out leave a like Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel as always if you like the channel. And yeah, in the next video, I will talk about the two star, three star monsters, what you can use more. I will do more of a beginner mid game guide, something like this, because on the end game, I think most of the people are already more into the game and they are know what they know what they are doing and. So I wanted to help out more the people that have some problems with like, let's say with Rev 10 or Rev 11 or something like that. So I can show them a little bit um, how to get more into the late game, let's say. Okay guys, so have a good one and see you in the next video hopefully. Bye bye.